There is fire on the mountain. Olori Naomi's wedding is strictly uninvite. If you are not invited, don't even smell the venue. <laughs> if you are not given a special invite for Olori Naomi's wedding, you are not allowed to smell the venue of that wedding. And with the condition we are looking at right now, with every single thing we are seeing right now, it is indeed a problem for all the wives of the Onis to accept that fact that Olori Naomi's wedding is strictly on invite. And if you are not invited, you are not allowed to step your foot into the wedding venue. <laughs> My people, hey, it seems like Oni really, really bought this idea very hard from Davido because Davido did a wedding, one of the first class weddings in Nigeria. And it came out strictly on invite. If you are not invited, don't enter the venue. That was what happened at the video's wedding. And we heard how people were bounced out, bounced out. People were thrown out. They were not allowed into the venue. We heard how a lot and a lot of things happened with people who were not invited into the wedding venue. <laughs> My people who right now, Olori Naomi wants to do her own. She wants to do it again. And with the whole matter on ground, it is indeed a proof that Naomi is capable of what she has started. Yes, because if you are not invited, it is as simple as don't enter. You will be quietly thrown out of the wedding venue. So my people right now know, hmm, this matter on ground is just telling us that come down and rip whatsoever it is that you are meant to rip because these women have refused to come down over time and with this singular thing olori naomi has no reason to trust anyone yes whosoever it is that feels that naomi is over acting naomi is overreacting naomi should have at least considered naomi should have a little bit of thought it is wrong it is very very wrong naomi has no room to be considerate with anyone this is naomi's life we don't have to over emphasize this thing like a million times this is naomi's life and if naomi chooses that that this is what i am going to do then so be it yes and now on her wedding she has kept it on strictly on invitation if she no invite you no smell the venue yes you see all of these things we keep hearing day after day how how they are going down how they are happening you know people get to think it is a joke most persons get to think it's a joke but today olori naomi has proven to people that whatsoever it is that she has been doing it is no joke and she is not taking it lightly with anybody so my people should i go back to telling you what has been happening all this why because in this process a lot and a lot has happened yes a lot has happened so this woman supposedly have has have come out to say a million things and out of the million things that they have said one of the most interesting part of this thing is the part that olui naomi is being selfish yes they are making it seem like olui naomi is really really being selfish accepting uh, to return back into the palace now there are lots of these women in the palace that is 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 what we are we know yes so that is what all of us know that we have a lot of these women in the palace now, what makes you so selfish with Naomi in particular returning back into the palace? That is what we are trying to understand. Because if they are saying that Naomi is selfish returning back into the palace, then what, what are they doing be staying in the palace? Yes, what are they doing staying in the palace? Because vigorously speaking on this matter... Olori Naomi has the right to return back into the palace just like every other person. Naomi has the right to stay in the palace just like every other person. Naomi has that leverage to do whatsoever I think she wants to do just like every other person who feels the palace is where I'm meant to be. The palace is my home. The palace is this. The palace is that. She has it. So, so what's making her own so different that eh, Naomi cannot stay in the palace. Naomi cannot do this. Naomi cannot do that what's making her own so different that is what we are asking because as this matter is on ground right now no, it is indeed something that we cannot just say that and eh, we are overlooking it or we are doing this no these women have not given us a reason to do that because day after day they keep fighting naomi like ah, naomi has committed one grievous offense that is punishable by the law naomi has done something something that deserves to be punished and you know all of those things they are quite preposterous and they are 
out of this world they are not even meant to exist so now they have actually pushed naomi to the wall most persons are saying that naomi was not pushed to the wall this has always been her intention over time to have a private wedding where only the people she invites gets to come for it but even if you say if you are naomi and you look at every single thing that has happened in the palace over time would you want to invite a host of everybody to come in for your wedding no you wouldn't want to you would want strictly on invitation you would want to see the faces you have selected you have selected yes that is what you would want to see at your wedding and then remember that a wedding like Olui Naomi's wedding is going to be a talk of town the same way the video shut down Leki that is the same way Olui Naomi will also shut down at her own end and as it is right now no, no matter what happens no matter what decision Olui Naomi makes she has the right to make those decisions and everybody trying so hard to drag Naomi should just stop it because Naomi has the right to live her life Yes, because what we are doing now is just making it seem like she's living an unauthorized life. She doesn't have the right to do the things she's doing. She doesn't, she doesn't even have that audacity to live the life she is living. And it is not right. Naomi has every single right to live her life. And if we, at this point we are all saying that what Naomi is doing is wrong, then we should just tell Naomi to stop existing. That is just the end of the matter. We should just tell her that, see, Naomi, you have to stop breathing and the whole matter will end. Because coming out to tell Naomi that this should be done this way, this should be done this way, when it is her life, then I don't know what else these women expect of Olui Naomi. Seriously, I don't know what ex they expect of Olui Naomi. But as this whole matter is on ground right now, no? my people, let's all wait and see how the whole matter will spread out. Yes, let's wait and see how this whole matter will spread out because as long as this matter continues, as long as this matter continues and Olui Naomi is in the picture, this whole wedding, this whole marriage of a thing, we know that the owner's wives will not stop. That is one thing we know for sure, they would not stop. And you know, Oni has gotten married to the most stubborn set of women on earth. He has gotten married to those women who... Who every day they are fighting, who every minute they feel there is something somewhere that they have to fight for, who every passing day they are like, ah, we have not fought enough, we have to fight, and all of those things. Those are the kind of persons only got married to. And with every single thing happening in the palace, please, Oliwi Naomi should be very, very careful of who she invites to her wedding. Yes, we the public, we all the online in-laws are also saying it. Naomi, please be very, very careful of who you invite to your wedding. Even if the fellow or Louis does not make it to your wedding, there is no problem attached to it because these women have, have not given Naomi a reason to say that, okay, you push will come to my wedding. They haven't. 